Hello, I'm Richard Vobes, the Bald Explorer, out on another walk, and I'm joined by the lovely Kevin Hall. Hello, Kevin. Hello, Richard. We are on our Peak District adventure. We are. It's very exciting. It's very exciting. The lovely Kevin has uh, driven me up from the sunny coast in Sussex, <laughs> <Yes>. uh, <laughs> and <laughs> yeah. we now have Midlands weather. Yes. I'm sure it's all going to change. Yes. We're standing in a little bit of woodland with some what looks like uh, London plane trees actually yep. uh, in and around us. We've got lost a couple of times. We've driven through the wonderful <laughs> place that is Bakewell, which I believe we're going to have a look at later on in the week. We are on Friday, yes. But to start our adventure, we thought we would go <laughs> here. Yes. Where is here, yes. Kevin? We are on Lo the Longshore Estate. Right. What it's is that? That's a big estate. Oh, it's a National Trust yes. property. It's a, it is. And it goes, we're going to take a walk down to the Padlow Gorge. Padley Gorge. Padley Gorge. Padley Gorge, yeah. yeah. Which, which is, I guess, a gorge with a stream going through river? St a stream stroke river, yeah. And yeah. It's, it, you can see the, the river going over, the, the tumbling over the rocks. And it's just a lovely piece of, uh, of the Peak District. Well, that's what we're aiming to do. We don't know if we'll find it. <laughs> <laughs> judging on our experiences so far today yes. but stick with us yep. and we'll please, see what we can do please do yeah so i think we go up there and turn left according to a big board that we saw earlier indeed come on let's see if we can find it let's not go by sat nav no <laughs> come on <laughs> wow look at that well this is really interesting we've just come out from this grove of trees kevin yes and immediately it's just widely open it's beautiful isn't it and then in the distance we've got that sort of rocky edge yeah, up there what's that called i think that's part of hathersage moor oh okay you've been here because i should say that because kevin has been up here before and he is my guide so if we get wrong we know who to blame yes it, it's uh, i'm the guide to get lost oh <laughs> We can see that the uh, gorge has got to be that way, but I think we're going to sweep around here past some sheep yep. and some other stones and all these ferns that are here and see what we see. Absolutely. But further, further down this path that we're on leads you to Longshore Lodge. Um, part of the estate, presumably. Part of the estate. And, and I think it's the correct place. It was work, used as a World War I hospital. Oh, OK. Um, for, for the troops. Um, you know, you can't wish to have been brought back to a better place, could you, to, to recover? But I think that's where this, this, this path leads to, so that'd be lovely if we can find that. Come on then. Okay. Well, straight away, the scenery is just breathtaking. And although where we're staying is uh, at the further to the east, really, and it's just out of the Peak District, it's worth that little extra journey to come here, isn't it, Kevin? Absolutely. Thank you for opening the gate for me. Right. What a star you are. Pre-judging where you're going to go. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just walking down the lane, which we think goes to the lodge yeah and the visitor centre and uh, we're going to take a bit of a exit away from there to try and get down to Padley Gorge Padley Gorge yes which yeah. you've done several times well, I've been there once oh once been, okay. yeah went, went there once with Sue Blount and it's an area that Sue knows um, but we did a walk there uh, I think it was last year might have been a year before but it is lovely it's a and, lovely place and just for the sake of the viewers Sue lives in this area or close by doesn't yeah, she in, so yeah in nottinghamshire but in, in nottingham yeah, so in she knows this area reasonably yeah. well yes she does yeah and um, we will see sue in some of the other videos that we're making yeah. but uh, we're just going down this rather beautiful little stretch through this rather wonderful countryside beach going trees through beech trees i think it's mainly mainly beach as well Yes, yeah, yeah. and most of them are quite young, actually, aren't they? They are, yeah, very. But then again, yeah, the closer ones to us are younger, but then... You get further away. Further away, they're huge trees. 
We're looking to go that way. Do you think there still goes down that way? I think we get down to the bottom here yeah. and we, we bear around to the left. Oh, um, no. Although if we want to have a cup of tea or a cup of coffee. No, no, no. We, we, we have it's to go late straight. already, <laughs> Kevin. It's late already. Yes, you got us lost, Richard. Yes, it will get dark soon. So, yes. We don't want to be stuck out on the moors. Don't we? We're not doing uh, wild camping. Not when we've just uh, spent an, a fortune <laughs> of the patron's money on an Airbnb. Absolutely, no, that's right. Come on, let's okay, press on. Let's crack on. It's a lovely pond, isn't it? Beautiful, lovely. And it's got some of those, what did you call them, Akaks? No, they're not quite Akaks. I think they're known up here locally as Kakaks. Kakaks. <laughs> I think Sue Blount can put us right on that. Right. Yeah. Ducks. Yeah, ducks. 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 We've just moved down uh, on our path and we passed the lodge, which I thought was going to be a like a little lodge with a gate and you know, you get the big country estate, the lodge that leads up to the big house, but actually that was the house. It was a house. It's a big house as well. And um, next to the house is a commemorative millstone, yep. which told us that in 1951, this was the first national park national in Britain. Park. It was, absolutely, yeah. yeah. And uh, so that w part of the Peak District, not just Longshore Estate, but part of the Peak District, Peak is that District. right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think it is, yeah. And the house itself, interestingly, was used, I think, as a, as a hospital? It was um, an auxiliary hospital um, during the First World War. First World War, 1914 to 1919. Um, but as Richard quite correctly pointed out, because I said it was 1914 to 1918, but of course you've still got the servicemen being brought back to this country, repatriated, and then of course they've still got to get their their wounds and injuries sorted out. So the, the Longshore House or Lodge was... Just look behind you. There is an akak. <laughs> you can't see that. I'm so sorry, but this duck has just crawled right up there. I'm sorry yeah. to interrupt. No, me. that's all right. Um, so yeah, so that as I said, the, they'd be repatriated back to this country, um, and then of course they've got to come to somewhere like this to be to be healed. So we've uh, come away from the house, which is a lovely, um, I guess, some sort of sandstone or limestone, whatever the local stone up here is. Need Dar to... Derbyshire stone, I presume. Yeah. Derbyshire stone. Derbyshire, Derbyshire stone. stone. Or... Is that a sandstone or a limestone or an oolite stone? Just I would have Derbyshire been... stone. Derbyshire stone. <laughs> there yeah. it is. Uh, and we've come down to this pond and we're going to do a sort of a loop down to get to the gorge, passing through some rhododendrons. Yes, yeah, we've done those, some of those, but yeah. um, there's a few just behind us, actually. Yeah. Which are still out in flower, but most of them now, the flowers are, are finished. So, we can't rest on our laurels any longer. No, but that sunshine's lovely. <laughs> Get it. Oh, look, 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 don't move, don't move. Oh, it's right by us, the duck The little walked... duck has just come by us. Hello, little duck. Are you quackers? <laughs> just crossed a road by the discovery barn which is just behind us there you can probably just make out that camper van behind us and we're coming now down to the beginning of the gorge really well or certainly the beginning of the stream yeah we are and I'm assuming of course that the stream is just water that's coming off from the landscape with all the tours that we have around us, yeah. surrounded by these marvellous tours. Stunning up there, aren't they? Beautiful. With all the different birds that are so difficult to capture. Yeah. But here's the bridge. you probably hear the beautiful sound of the water gushing through. So we're going to cross this bridge and beyond a load of heather, although not yet out in purple. Some of it's coming out there, look. Just oh, up yeah. there on the right hand side. But this is just lovely. It's beautiful, isn't it? Isn't it? And then the landscape here on this side is actually very, very different because there's sand under foot. There is, yeah. yeah. And then there's all these beautiful lumps of rock, which I guess is, is the Derbyshire stone, is it? Do you know, this almost looks like it's granite. It to does me. look very firm, doesn't it? It's got that little bit of a 
sparkle from it. Yes. I yes. don't think a, a sandstone would do that. Depends what it's mixed with, I guess. Yeah. Here we see a little bit of the heather. You get that beautiful colour coming through here. And you can certainly start to picture what it would be like when the heather is in full bloom. I just go up here a little bit just to get a little bit of the landscape for you to view. Clamber over these boulders. They're huge, so they're aren't they? But yeah, this is this is absolutely amazing. And then that's looking back where we were with the discovery barn behind us, and we're going to take a little stroll a little bit further along the river to get some sense of the gorge, but we can't actually get back across the river without doubling back. So we'll see how far we get. We've just come a little further from the from the bridge and as you can see behind us the water now is tumbling through you can probably hear it quite savagely as well tumbling through these amazing boulders and we're just going to see if we can get down to the water's edge because apparently the, the footpath continues down there behind me through these rather beautiful stunted trees which are, are they oak trees which have amazing shapes twisty turning um, trunks but when you go down that footpath you can't actually see the water quite so much so Kevin's already got down there I'm going to try and get down myself you do have to jump a little bit from stone to stone and I am prone for falling over as viewers who've seen my Cumbrian escapade But the view here is just wonderful. It's like suddenly being at a pebbled beach, but being shrunken to the size of a gnat. Kevin's going to give me a hand up. Thank you, yeah, Kevin. There we go. Wow. That gravity can cause such ferocity absolutely is, uh, incredible isn't it and the size of some of these granite stones the, the positions they're in yeah which creates these natural waterfalls is, is, is staggering you know when I came here before I, I didn't try to get down here we just kept to the path but when you're actually almost in, a, in the river itself yes it's, it's stunning and it cascades further and further into the main gorge which unfortunately we a don't have time to do today but maybe on another trip another time yeah but this has been fantastic i hope you've enjoyed our little stroll we're doing more so keep an eye out for the next videos when they come up but kevin for this one mm -hmm. thank you so much that's been brilliant it's i've been loved it it's been day one <laughs> we've had such a laugh we yeah. knew we would absolutely and yeah. and it's proved to be the case so don't forget to follow like subscribe become a patron Leave a comment, let us know what you think, yeah. and we'll see you on the next one. Can't wait. Brilliant. Can't yeah. wait. It'll be brilliant. Yeah, looking forward to it. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.